Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. So I'd like to do an intro on Awesome Miner. What is it? What are the features? Why use it? So let's talk about that. So what is Awesome Miner? Well, simply put, it's computer software that's designed specifically to monitor and manage different types of hardware for mining cryptocurrencies. And in addition to that, it comes pre-bundled with different types of mining programs that are designed specifically for that hardware, whether you're using AMD GPUs, Nvidia GPUs, Intel or AMD CPUs, and ASICs. So it's pretty much a one-stop shop for anything crypto. Let's take a closer look now at what it is that they offer. One of the most popular features of Awesome Miner is profitability switching. What this feature does is allows you to add a list of your favorite coins and then make sure that the one coin that has the most profit is the one being mined. Um, there are thresholds that can be set and intervals that you can adjust, but for the most part, this is one really flexible way to ensure that your mining rig is making the absolute most profit that it possibly can. Another feature here is notifications and recovery. What's nice about this is if you have the paid version of Awesome Miner, it will send you notifications if something's going on with your mining equipment. This way, if you're at work while your mining rig is at home and it fails for some reason, then you'll get a notification so that you can go remote desktop in and try and get things restarted. Another really important feature of Awesome Miner are multiple mining engines. The software comes pre-packaged with several different types of mining programs that are designed specifically to mine different algorithms. This way you can ensure that whether you have an AMD GPU or an Nvidia GPU, you're always using the software that is best tailored for your equipment. In addition to profit switching and mining engines, Pool management will be central to what it is you do with Awesome Miner. This feature allows you to add different coins from different pools and set them up accordingly so that you can always be sure that you're mining your favorite coins. Awesome Miner is not just a GPU mining solution, it also can use your CPU and manage and monitor your ASICs. So it's a comprehensive package for all of your mining needs. In addition to the stats that are displayed locally, with a paid version of Awesome Miner, you can access the same stats through the web or via your cell phone. This way, you'll always be able to keep track of temperatures and what coins are being mined with your mining equipment. For those with a little bit of computer knowledge, you can use C Sharp scripting to monitor different APIs or even further adjust your own profitability switching. Awesome Miner has full support for Bitmain Ant Miners as well as SSH management so that Awesome Miner can take full control over everything that you do with your ASIC. That way you won't have to go into the ASIC's web management anymore. Awesome Miner will do all that for you. If you're a larger mining company, you'll be glad to know that user access control and permissions can be set for different users. Once you have everything set up, the dashboard will provide performance results at a glance so that you can see how many of your miners are up and running and what the daily profits will be. Now let's take a look at some of the frequently asked questions. Number one, is the license per GPU or per computer? What they say here is the license defines how many mining processes, for example, CG miner, Claymore miner, that can be prepared and monitored. For ASIC miners like AntMiner, one miner will consume one license. GPU mining, in most cases, one license is consumed per mining computer as long as one instance of the mining software is running. Case and point, this is the free version of Awesome Miner which allows up to two miners. And as you can see, I have here at the top, Big Red, which is my GPU miner, and the second one, CPU, which is my CPU miner. If I tried to add another miner right now, I'd receive this error message because this version only supports two miners. 
If you need to add more miners or want more features, then you'll have to look at one of the other editions that they offer. You can click the buy link on the website and they'll give you a list of what editions they have. The standard edition offers four miners, while the professional edition offers 10 and the premium 20. And obviously the price does go up for each one. You'll just have to decide which is best to suit your needs. One last item I want to cover from their website is, can I trust this software? The answer is yes. Awesome Miner doesn't contain any viruses, spyware, or adware. And it says here that since their launch in 2014, Awesome Miner has been adopted by many users running both small scale and large scale mining operations. It's developed by the Swedish software company Intellibreeze Software. Users have been discussing Awesome Miner for more than three years in the official Bitcoin talk thread for Awesome Miner, making this a well-known solution for management and monitoring of mining operations. What I really like about this is that not only is Awesome Miner free from viruses and spyware, they also scan any of the mining programs that they send during an update. That way, I don't have to worry about going to GitHub or some random website or some random Google Drive and accidentally download a virus that could potentially compromise my system. They've done all the pre-screening for me. Okay, so now that we've looked at some of the things on their website, let's take a look at the program itself. As you can see, I have two different miners set up here. The top one is called Big Red, that's for my GPU, and the bottom one is for my CPU. The difference between them is simple. The top one is set for profit switching, which means that it will look at the list of coins that I have added and always mine the most profitable coin. And the CPU miner is set to mine a single coin and not switch. One of the most underestimated features of Awesome Miner is the benchmarking capability. I know a lot of people who download NiceHash just for the sake of using it as a benchmarking tool, but Awesome Miner does the same exact thing for free. Just click on the miner that you want to benchmark, click on Tools, and then click the Benchmark button. It'll take you to this page here where you can benchmark each one of your algorithms. You just select the algorithms that you want to benchmark, and then click on Start. The benchmark opens up all the different mining programs and mines a little bit of each one of these algorithms and then provides a result. It's always good to save this result to your profile. That way, when profit switching mode is engaged, it will know which coin to mine based on the benchmarks of your graphics card. Another nice feature of Awesome Miner is the auto startup feature. If you were to click on options and go to the general tab, you'd see at the top where it says auto start when Windows starts and auto start minimized. This is great to make sure that your monitoring continues even if your computer needs to reboot. In addition to that, if you're mining on the same machine, you can right click your miner, go to properties and make sure to select auto start miner. So that way mining will continue right away. While we're looking at general options, it's nice to know that you can select check for new versions automatically to ensure that you get the latest version of Awesome Miner as well as all of the mining software that's packaged with it. You can also adjust how Awesome Miner displays temperatures, either maximum, average, or all device temperatures. Next on the list is the coin pool. This is where you can add any coin that you want to mine from any pool. All you have to do is input some simple information that's provided by the pool. For instance, if we want to look at this Bitcoin Gold entry, I'll just click on Edit. You can give it a name, specify the server address and port number, specify your username or wallet address depending on what the pool requires, and also name your worker. You can provide the worker password, which is usually also offered by the pool. And then you can also set up the actual coin that you're mining. If you want to provide additional options or additional command line arguments, that is possible depending on which mining software you're using. For instance, if you're using SG Miner, then you can specify the command arguments here and the value for that argument here. Same goes for Claymore. 
if you want to add a command line argument here and the value here. If you're using a mining program that's different from SGMiner or Claymore, then on the advanced tab here, you can add your pull specific command line arguments right to this window and they'll be passed through to the mining software. Something that's often overlooked with Awesome Miner is the diagnostics feature. For instance, if I were to try and start a miner that was incorrectly configured, this is usually what happens. Software pops up and then it disappears. Well, what happened? And then it seems it gets stuck in a continuous loop. To figure out what's wrong, all I'd have to do is click on this diagnostics button and then it'll save all of the output here and show me my command line so that I can examine what's really going on. And if I take a closer look here, we have the mining software right here, zm.exe, which is DSTM miner. And then it provides the server, the port number, the user, the password. Everything looks good except the user. That's incorrect. This particular pool requires me to provide my actual username, not just the worker name. So unless this is my username, it can't find my information. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and edit that pool. And make sure that I add in the username. There we go. Click on okay, and then start. And as you can see now, it's mining. In addition to allowing you to add several different managed miners, you can also manage the mining software that comes with Awesome Miner. All you do is go to Options and click on Manage Software, and then you have multiple different programs here for NVIDIA, AMD, or CPU mining. If you want to adjust something, you can click on that miner and click on Edit. This will allow you to enable or disable different mining algorithms that that particular software program is capable of doing. Depending on the benchmark results for your particular piece of equipment, it may be helpful to disable certain algorithms that won't be that profitable. To do that, just go into Options and click on Algorithms, and then you can go ahead and turn off any of the algorithms that don't really apply. To further refine which mining engine is working for your equipment, you can use a profit profile. To get here, you would just go to Options and Profit Profiles. You can add a new one or you can select one of the pre-existing profit profiles depending on your equipment. In my case, I'm using an NVIDIA GPU, so I'll just go ahead and edit this. And you can see here, you're able to prefer different mining software over others. So in my case, I've chosen to put the DSTM Zcash miner to the top of the list, which is over top of the EWBF miner. I have found that DSTM is one of the best hash rate miners for the Equihash algorithm. So when Awesome Miner comes across one of the coins that I've set up that uses Equihash, it will prefer DSTM over EWBF. These are very easy to move around with the arrows. So if I wanted to switch it like this, I could. You can also choose which algorithms you're going to be able to mine with your card. Some additional features worth mentioning in options under the advanced tab is that you can set your level of log detail from none to default to detailed to debug. This may help if you're trying to solve a problem with awesome miner not running properly. In addition, if you're having problems with your managed miners, this will allow you to set the number of restart attempts if the mining software is crashing. Not only that, you can also set a delayed auto start of the miner after reboot. This way, if you have some other background programs that you want to load before Awesome Miner does, then you can time this accordingly. One of the nicest features of Awesome Miner is its profit switching capability. Once you've added a managed profit miner for your graphics cards, then all you'd have to do is go into options and profit switching and add some additional information here. You would just basically have to choose which pools you would like to mine from and add your Bitcoin address or your username and worker name accordingly. 
Mining PoolHub.com requires a little additional setup because you have to create an account there and then you'd want to add a worker name to the auto profit switching categories. But if you didn't want to use Mining PoolHub, that's fine. All you'd have to do is add your Bitcoin address to these lines and make sure you choose your region for the nice hash one. After you've added that information, then you would just basically want to pick the switching interval. I have mine set to three minutes. And it's always good to enable the profit switching threshold. I've put mine at 15%. That way it won't switch coins until another one is at least 15% higher in value. You can also have Awesome Miner automatically deduct the power cost from your estimated profits. In my area, the cost per kilowatt hour is 11 cents. Once you have that set up, you can click on OK and start. As you can see, Awesome Miner has chosen to mine an unspecified Phi coin over at Zpool. If you wanted to see more specifics about that particular coin, you could just go to zpool.ca and look up this port number on their website to see which coin specifically it was pointing to. Over on zpool.ca, you can see that port number 8333 is for Luxcoin, which is a newer coin that they added recently. Although I would probably recommend going over to pickaxe.pro to mine Lux because they have a much lower fee and a smaller number of miners, which means that you could potentially earn more coins because there aren't as many people mining after the same blocks. If you'd like to have a little bit more control over which coins you mine and which sites you mine them from, then you can go ahead and add coin pools individually and even group them together so that you can create your own profit switching setup. To do that, you would just click on options and pools and then add each coin pool as needed to this list. You can see here, I've already added one for Luxcoin over at pickaxe.pro. Just give it a name, add the server address and port number Include the wallet address and worker name, password, and define the coin. Click OK. Rinse and repeat for each coin that you want to add. Then click on Pool Groups. Click on Add. And you can select your own multi-pool group of different coins that you would like to mine. So let's suppose I really want to mine Bitcoin Gold, Ethereum Classic, Ethereum, Electronium, Feathercoin, Monacoin, Musiccoin, Vertcoin, Monero, Z Classic, Zcash, Zencash, Lux, and click OK. This now has 13 different coins in it, and to enable this, I would just click on Profit Switching, turn off all the others, click on Custom Pools, set it to my pool group down here, multi-pool, click OK, and start. And as you can see, it's chosen to mine Lux from pickaxe.pro. Well, that's it for this video. I know it wasn't extensive, but I will do a follow-up video on some of the additional features that the software offers. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to hit subscribe and ding the bell so that you get future updates. If you'd like, come join us on our Discord server where you can meet other like-minded individuals and share mining tips and talk crypto. Thanks so much for watching guys. God bless.